while modeling the geometry will be having the confusion what is primary beam and what is secondary beam and how the connection would be the primary beam and secondary beam connection how we need to detail the primary beam and secondary beam joints so these are all the major things while modeling the structure the structural engineer must know about these details before modeling the geometry and here there is one more important point that is releasing the moment releasing the moment of secondary beams many of us get confused why do we need to release the moment of secondary beams and why do we need to transfer those moment to the primary beam or moment distribution we are distributing the moment secondary beam moment to the primary beam hey friends welcome back to civil engineering mastery in this video we are going to discuss about what is primary beam what is secondary beam and what is moment release in secondary beams why do we need to do the moment release in secondary beams whether we can release the moment of secondary beam and distribute that to the primary beam how do we detail the primary beam and secondary beam joints everything we'll discuss in detail and without further ado let's begin now first let's start off the concept of primary beam and secondary beam primary beam is the beam which is directly connected to the column for example if you look at this frame so here this beam this continuous beam we have three spans so all the three spans are connected to the column so this is a primary beam and if you look at this frame here also you have a primary beam you have two spans this is one span and this is one span these two are considered as one span but in between there is a secondary beam here also this beam and this beam is directly connected to these three columns so this is also a primary beam look at here here this beam is a secondary beam because this is not connected to the column we have three spans this is also a three span continuous beam and this is not connected to the columns this is connected to this beam so this is called secondary beam i hope you understand the beam which is directly connected to the column is called as a primary beam the beam which is not directly connected to the column which is connected to the primary beam that is called secondary beam i'll show you in 3d view so that you will be getting clear idea see here if you see this beam this span this continuous span is directly connected to the columns 1 2 3 4 columns are there so this continuous beam is a primary beam and here see this is a secondary beam this one and this one look similar similar span and similar continuous beam but here the beam is connected to column here the beam is not connected to the column instead it is connected to the primary beam okay so here if you look at this frame this is also a primary beam since it has three columns and this secondary beam is connected to the primary beam so this we call it as secondary beam and this we call it as primary beam let's consider this secondary beam so we have the longitudinal section of the secondary beam so we have support over here at this junction here and here so these primary beams are the support for this secondary beam one two three spans we have similarly here we have 1 2 3 spans we draw the bending moment diagram it looks like this it looks like this so we have support moment span moment support moment span moment and again support moment and span moment so hogging moment and sagging moment both we have so this is the bending moment diagram for a continuous beam we provide top steel and bottom steel to arrest these moment let's discuss what happens if we release the moment for that first let's take a single span beam and then see what happens if we release the moments if we take a single span the bending moment diagram looks like this and we'll be having the hogging moment and sagging moment so our case is we need to release the moment what happens if we release the moment so if we release this moment and this moment at support if we release the moment so the bending moment diagram will become like this so this will become a simply supported beam and you will not be getting any moment at the support if we release the moment and only we'll be getting the span moment so how do we detail this beam so we provide top bar like this 
and then we provide bottom bar like this to resist the span moment so anyway we provide the top bar we will not provide the beam without top bar so we provide top bar in all the case we will not detail the beam without the top bar so here i would suggest you to don't release the moment because if you release the moment what happens anyway we are going to provide the top bar anyway this top bar will take care of the support moment if you release the moment what what happens here your moment will become zero both the support the moment will become zero and here you will be having some moment minimum moment you will be having i recommend you to don't release the moment because anyway we are providing the top bar only thing is we need to take care of the development length proper anchorage we need to provide at the supports now let's look into the continuous beam what happens if you release the moment so continue in continuous beam we will be having moment at support and the span moment so if you release the moment at the support in the intermediate span as well as at the end span what happens you will be getting the moment like this at the support you will be having zero moment and span moment will be maximum how do we detail this we provide top bar like this and then we provide bottom bar like this to resist the span moments right so this is how we detail the continuous beam so what happens if we release the moment at the intermediate span for example here this moment and this moment if we release what happens so this is the area where we are releasing the moment so here there will not be any moment here as well anyway we are providing the top bar if you look at the detailing we are providing the top bar throughout the length of the beam so we don't provide like cut bar till this end and here we cut the bar and then again we provide the bar like this so there is of no use if you release the moment at the intermediate span of the continuous beam so there is strict no to release the moment in the continuous beam at the intermediate span at the end of the span for example at the end of the beam you can release here or here it depends upon the engineer this is also not required i would recommend you to leave it to the geometry so because the geometry itself will take care of the moment so this is the concept behind releasing the moment in the secondary beams now let me show you how do we release the moment in statpro software go to command and then here under member specifications you have to select release so under release you have to select start mx my mz add and then again you have to click on beam and then release select end mx my mz and then add so we have added the release in start and end this is why because so if you select this beam you will be having the if you just hover on this beam you you will be getting three colors green red and blue green is the start color and blue is the end color so what you have to do select this start and then select this beam assign to selected beams that means the moment is released over here so we have added the specification release specification before that let's do the analysis and then see how the bending moment diagram looks like this without releasing the moment so let me show you here see if you look into here see this is a small moment we will be getting the moment over here and here see here and here see this is what i have explained if you take this continuous beam you will be getting the support moment span moment again support moment span moment support moment and then span moment okay now let's do the release and then see what happens in the bending moment diagram go to command go to command and then member specifications release this we have already added select this one and then here select this beam assign see in this support the moment is released that is at the starting point and at the end we have to do it so for that you have to select this one and in this continuous beam this is the end span so end span we are releasing the moment see in ends also we have a release now let's do the analysis and then look into the bending moment diagram 
see here before we have the moment on this support and then this support as well now if you see the moment has been released and then we have a span moment there is no uh, difference of moment because anyway support at the support will be having very less moment anyway we are providing the top bar and only thing is at the support we need to provide the proper development length so we need to do the detailing properly so this is the concept behind the moment release i hope you understand clearly if you have any queries please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome if you really like the content hit the like button and if you want to support the channel super thanks button has been enabled in our channel just log in with your email id and then below the video you will be having the super thanks button click on that and pay some minimum amount and support this channel don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching